Laboratory scientists have been on the front lines of the pandemic since day one, testing specimens to see if you have the virus. But there's a national shortage of them, and it's impacting many. Richard Bodie was granted rare access to a lab where scientists test for COVID-19. Catherine Brandt is one of 53 laboratory scientists at Swedish American testing specimens for COVID-19 and other diseases. We each run like one department and there's a lot of patients from the hospital and the ED and then we also run like the outpatient clinics. But the pandemic and a national shortage in lab scientists has forced her to work long hours. Running the COVID tests, running the regular tests that we have and then also trying to cover the shortages that we have. So we're sometimes we're running multiple departments at one time. It's just a lot to manage for, for one person. Nicole Radford, the director of laboratory services at the hospital, says she currently has seven openings for testing personnel. Some of those positions have been open for a long time long time. Lab scientists are hard to come by. They're an aging workforce that requires specialized training and fewer schools are doing that training because of low interest. How quickly we can get everything to everyone that needs it is impacted every time we have an opening. Meaning it could take longer for you to get your results. Radford says the lab still tests a couple hundred COVID tests per day in one of its three testing machines. Here's how it works. First specimens are brought in here and prepared under the hood. Then they go into a holder with a chemical mixture and are inserted into this machine. Two hours later, you have the results. Early on in the pandemic, I made a comment about how not being able to get the supplies I needed to do the testing that we know so desperately needed to be done. Felt like I was a mom that couldn't feed my children. But while supply and personnel shortages hit Swedish American hard, OSF St. Anthony Medical Center says they are fully staffed because they can hire students that they teach. Part of that is because we were able to hire all four of our students from last year's class. We're all vying for the same applicant pool. And the work never stops. We only have a certain amount of people in the lab. There's still the same amount of work that needs to be done. The few unsung, unseen heroes on the front line. Stick around. We'll have one more look at your Wednesday evening weather planner when we come back.